Hello, my name is Dario and welcome to the lesson 5 of Open Saba. Through this lesson we will be seeing how to apply Agile methodologies for development with Open Saba. What way software developments use Agile methodologies in order to simplify the communications between developers and customers? This in order to use the feedback to introduce new functionalities to the applications that are under development and to speed up the final delivery. This type of work methodology requires tools that allow the developers to make different changes and quick modification. And here we can see how OpenSaba is the best tool to work in a child environment. We will use the example program that we have been making in the past lessons. To this point, our application allows us to store music, books, and software. Each of these elements has an auto, so the first functionality will be associate this product with an auto. So, the first step is create a new class named author. We need to write the annotations, we can use control space plus enter to quick import. We declare here two elements, OID and name. For OID, we use column annotation to establish the length. Generic generator. Uh, generated value. We use this generic uh, unique algorithm to migrate in our future or program to work with different database. Uh, we need to use here a high band annotation and ID annotation. Okay. For name we are using column and a required annotation. So here and here we need to explicitly import Java's persist entity. And we can save here. The next step now is go to product class and add a reference to our author class. Use description list to see the result in a combo box and for relation we will be using manage one of the type lazy so this will be on demand and ok our code is ready to work now we need to test our new functionality. To do this, go and start your application, wait for deploy, and copy the link. Go to your favorite browser. We need to log in in our application. And we can see here a new module named Auto. We will add here some examples. And if we go to list, we have here all our autos. Now, if we go to product, we can see here an example of a product. If we click it, 
we have all the info and below we will see a combo box with all the authors. We can select now one of them, click and save and if we go now to products again we can see here the name of the author in relation with the product. Let's suppose now that our client wants to click on an author and see all product associated. For this functionality we need to make a bidirectional relationship between author and product. We can do this very fast, let's see. We need to go to author class and add here this code. First we need a collection from product Now we use list properties annotation to make the order that we want to see or attributes and one relation one to money. by auto and that's it we have finished the code now we need to test our new functionality so go to your browser login again and here if we go to product we can see here products associate with one author and if we go to author module and click over an author we can see the items associate with it at this point we have an application that allow us to search and select different products associate with an author and uh, we can add new elements from the product list to associate to these authors. And what if has a new requirement? Our client wants that when an author is deleted, all products associated with it will be deleted too. We can solve this requirement in this way. So we need to go to author class and in the money, one to money relation, we need to add this code. And with this code, we say to the program that when we delete an author, all product relational will be deleted too. We need to test now our new functionality. So start your program, wait for deploy, take the link, past and go in your browser, sign in again. And now we can see here three authors and if we select one we can see here two items so now we are going to select this author and delete them okay and now if we go to see product here the product was deleted to throw the example of this lesson it's clear why OpenSAVA is an excellent tool to work in a child environment. In the next lessons, we will be seeing how to improve security, add more business logic, and improve the user interface of our applications. See you soon!